Hello and welcome to Nikolai's Genetics Lessons and today I have prepared another very interesting probability problem for you. Here's a problem. Two dice are tossed. The probability that the total score is a prime number is and you have to choose one of these answers. And before I will show you how to solve this problem, I want to show you the trap that probably most of you would fall into and I also fall into this trap and it would be good for your better understanding of uh, many types of probability problems. So I'm going to show you today uh, what uh, probably most of you would choose as an answer, but this is wrong answer. So uh, this probably would take just another minute. So if we throw two dice, what numbers we can get? And of course, the smallest number would be one on one side and one on the other side. So let me just make a list of all possible numbers that we can get and not just numbers, but we have to add uh, different combinations of numbers. So the smallest would be two. So two, then three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. We can get twelve. If, for example, we will get six and six, we can get eleven if we will get six and five. So it is clear. Now, what is a prime number? Prime number is a number that we can get only by multiplying this number uh, and one. For example, you cannot get two by no multiplying any other numbers that is smaller than two. You basically can get uh, two by multiplying two and one. So this is going to be a prime number. So let me circle it. So this is prime number and three also would be a prime number because there is no such uh, whole numbers which we can multiply and get three. We can get three by, by multiplying three and one. So this is also prime number, but four is not a prime number because we can get four multiplying two and two. Five would be another prime number. So we circle five. But six we can get by, for example, multiplying three and two. Seven would be another prime number. And another prime number would be 11. And all the other numbers we can get by multiplying whole numbers, which is going to be smaller. For example, nine we can get by multiplying uh, three and three. Eight we can get by multiplying two and four. And uh, now it seems like it is very easy to solve this problem. We just have to count how many numbers we have. And we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and eleven numbers. And uh, prime numbers would be one, two. So let me also put numbers here. So one, two, three, four, and five. And it seems like an answer have to be uh, five out of 11. So total number we can get by tossing two dice would be 11. Uh, I mean, uh, combinations which would in sum would give us this list of numbers. We cannot get one when we toss two dice. So this is going to be smallest. But as you see, we don't have such an answer here. So I started to think where is a mistake. And here is actual solution. So imagine that we have two dice. So let's, this would be number one and this would be second and what we are going to do let's just build simple Punnett square and here we are going 
to put numbers that we can get from dice number two. So it's going to be one, two, three, four, five, and six. And if we throw dice number one, we also can get the same numbers from one to six, two, three, four, five, and six. Now let me build a table and six by six would give us 36 cells. We will have six rows and we are going to have six columns. And now it would be very easy to see actual solution of this problem and I will explain you why we got different uh, different answer. So if we'll get one for dice number one and one for dice number two, one plus one would give us uh, two. So we put two here and one plus uh, two for example one plus two would give us three in a sum so we put three here and we put four five six seven here and we put three four five six seven eight here four five six seven eight nine here five six seven eight nine ten here six seven eight nine ten and eleven here and seven eight nine ten eleven and twelve here so we completed all our table now let's circle those numbers that is going to be prime numbers and this is going to be the first prime number two and number three also prime number then it's going to be five and then it's going to be seven we cannot get seven by multiplying numbers smaller than seven except if it is going to be the same number seven and one and 11 would be the last so now let's count how many we have one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen so we are going to get uh, 15 prime numbers out of 36 because we have uh, six by six so we have uh, 36 total number of variants here and we also can um, reduce this number by factor three so our answer would be five so if we divide 15 by three we are going to get five and if we divide 36 by three we are going to get 12 now we see such an answer, answer B. Now let me explain why we got different uh, variants. First time we got five over 11 and uh, the correct answer actually five over 12. And we got this answer, which is different because uh, this list show us uh, all the prime numbers between 2 and 11 but it doesn't uh, also reflect uh, the frequency uh, of uh, different combinations for example uh, we can get 5 in much more combinations then we can get 2 basically it's just 1 and 1 which can give us 2 but for example 5 it can be 4 and 1 it can be 3 and 2, it can be 2 and 3, and it can be 1 
and 4. So 5, uh, the frequency of the 5, if we'll toss two uh, dice, uh, would be much higher than frequency of the prime number 2 or prime number 3. And here we work with probability. So to get 5 uh, would be much higher probability than uh, to get, uh, for example, 2. Again, the first variant of the answer uh, doesn't uh, tell us how frequent would be each number when we toss two dice. But this table actually gives us uh, not just all the numbers, prime numbers, but also the frequency with which we can get these numbers. That's why our correct answer is slightly different from what we calculated the first time. And again, the correct answer is 5 over 12. And this is all for today. Thank you for your attention. Please subscribe for my new videos that I post almost every day. Thumbs up if you like this video. Please write a comments, questions if you have any. Share this video with your classmates and see you in the next video. Goodbye.